Welcome to Good Mythical More. Is it a good idea to soak watermelon chunks in things? Uh, let's find out by guessing what these watermelon chunks have been soaked in. But first we have a voicemail that we're going to check. Nicki Minaj is the queen of rap. That's it. <laughs> it's not up for debate. Bye. Well, okay. Uh, did we, I mean, well, excuse me. Did but we give an impression that we th thought something else? I mean, are you? D does she mean like current Queen of Rap? Because I mean, uh, uh, Queen Latifah. I was freaking. This queen is in her name. Right, 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 right. But, but you can't be the queen forever. You, you can't be the you, queen you forever. You reign for a while and then yeah, you Nicki, pass on the torch. Nicki Minaj uh, and uh, you know she's she's still she's still legit too legit to quit to use the parlance of our time. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we're not going to disagree with that, but uh, you, you know, said it like we have asserted something different. That's the only that, the only thing I'm taking issue with is it was you know sort of it seemed like the context of the voicemail was. Uh, as opposed to what you guys have been saying over and over again, Nicki Minaj is still the queen of rap. Yeah, well, let's just see what Megan the Stallion has to say about that. Megan, let it let them know, because uh, I know you're watching. Okay, anytime you want to come on the show. We are going to taste it's an open invitation. These chunks of marinated watermelon, and we're gonna guess what it is with a little three, two, one. So three, two, one. There's no like tasting guess. It's taste and weight. But the pro the reason why we can't do that is because our rate of taste is different, and I'm, we're trying. I think we should remove that. What do you mean rate of taste? How quickly we eat and taste. Link is a lot slower to chew than you rate are. Rate of eating and rate of tasting are two different things. Yeah, this one's real obvious though. Actually, I know what it is, but I cannot think of what it is. You know how that happens sometimes? Yeah, it's a good time to guess. Three, two, one. Coffee. Coffee. That is strange. But I have That's to think. That's correct, right? I have to think it's correct. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, yes, it's correct. <laughs> what? This is coffee. Oh, what? Sorry, I have the answers? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So do we. It's right here. Coffee. Yeah. Coffee doesn't taste good when it's watermelons have been soaked in. Yeah, that is not, but what if there was cream on top too though? Would that work? Uh, I don't know about that, but I like putting, hey, have you done this? Don't do that. Do you ever, do y'all just sometimes, just as a little light dessert, you take some heavy whipping cream and you put some fruit in it and you just eat that? That's a nice little light dessert. Uh, heavy whipping cream? Whipping cream. Like, do you whip the cream? Well. Yeah, my wife will take the whipped cream, the, the heavy whipping cream, and she puts it into the, and she makes the, the blender? whipped cream. She puts it into the KitchenAid. That's a blender, right? No, it's a- Food processor? No, KitchenAid, mixer. Oh, oh, mixer. And uh, What's it doing? Oh, a mixer is not And a it's so yours. much better than like the Ready Whip. Is it? Oh, what? it's so much better. Ready Whip's great, and we have that on standby at all times as well. Well, we, we know this is yellow, because we can see it. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to eat that. <coughs> yeah. Ah! All right. Ah! Ah! Okay, I got a guess on that. Three, two, one. Sardine, Sardine juice. juice. No, it's more general than uh, that. It's uh, Fish juice. It's, it's buttery, though. Uh, uh, you, one might take this as a vitamin. Oh, fish oil. Fish oil. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, it's just straight up fish oil? Oh, gosh. Yeah, you shouldn't eat that straight. You should, you should go in a pill, and then that's why I just smelled it and then didn't eat it and let him do it. Ah, you didn't even taste it? No, because I smelled it and knew that it was so fishy I didn't want to. I didn't smell it. <laughs> okay, you didn't smell it. That's weird. Well, that's not part of the game. It's a tasting game. I can't. Help, I couldn't help but smell it as soon as we put it down. Oh, and look at look at how it's separated. Yes. What is that? Watermelon juice, fish oil. I didn't know fish oil had watermelon juice in it. What's the, what's the watermelon fish? That was not I, that nice. Ru that dude. ruined that fork. That yeah, I thought about throwing that fork away. I thought about it. Okay. Okay. Oh, yep. 
Well, I'm gonna sniff it before I. Oh. Oh wow, that's something very specific. What is that? Yeah, I kind of like it. What is that? Woo! What is that? I will say you don't have to be afraid from here on out. I felt really bad about that last one. I almost said something, but then I was like, you know what? That's not the point. What is this? It's so familiar. You can well, enjoy I a, this. I have a guess. Three, I have a guess. Two, one. Vinegar. Fresca. Okay, it's it's a mixture of the two things you said, basically. Vinegar and fresca? Yeah. Salad dressing. No, it's a I, drink that people drink in LA a lot. Kombucha. Yep. That's what it was. So familiar. Kombucha. So, uh, you can get a watermelon flavor kombucha. I'm not really into that. Fresca and vinegar mixed together is kombucha, and we just came up with that. <laughs> that is not how it's made. Oh, it isn't? <laughs> <laughs> they don't just take all the excess fresca. Mm. I used to be into fresca before LaCroix, and now when I see people enjoy frescas in media, well, um, I feel guilty that I left it. That I, that I don't drink it anymore. I kind of want to mix fresca and vinegar together and see if it tastes like kombucha. Oh, I feel like I feel like it would. Yeah, do that on your channel. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was that is a nice thing to do as a chaser to to like drinking straight up fish oil though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kombucha yeah. It does help kind of like it eradicate it. That we know what this is probably nice. without tasting it, but, but while maybe, we're, we're maybe thinking it's about good. it. I do want to listen. I want to clarify the announcement that we made in the main episode today. Okay, celebrating two years of Mythical Society, two year anniversary. If you join third degree, any tier, first, second, third, annual, quarterly, no matter what, in the month of February, then you can be randomly selected. Wait, no, you just messed it up again. No, I didn't. No, oh, he well, was moving to the second part. The, the and correction. I was going to do the second part to the and then to the first part. Okay, well, since this is a clarification, maybe we should be very clear. Yeah, I, but let's let's go in the, let's go in the order that it's that that we that we have it in our heads. Well, clearly, I don't want to. <laughs> okay. So, what is it? What's happening? So, if you upgrade to a third degree annual plan, okay, and that mean and that could mean renewing for another year of the third degree annual plan. It could be that you're currently in any other tier or any other type of third degree and you're upgrading to the third degree annual plan. No plus. matter what, you if you, automatically, if you pay the third degree annual plan in the month of February, you automatically qualify to receive your choice of one of the past 2020 quarterly items, okay? While supplies so last. Those four items from last year, the, the, while the supplies last. If, if, if you okay. miss the I'm on vacation vinyl, if you miss the bobbleheads, if you miss the uh, cloak of mythicality, if you miss the uh, Viewmaster. Viewmaster. Uh, while supplies last, now get in early, the you other can thing have the dibs on that. That Link was about to tell you is that if you purchase any type of third degree plan, anything, it could be monthly, it could be quarterly, it could be annual, if you do that during the month of February, then you will be potentially Randomly, we're going to select uh, under 30 people to join us for a digital meet and greet. And listen, a one on one meet. This is a one on one thing. We kind of said it like it was going to be us and everybody together. Like a classroom? But really, it's going to be us with individual people. Oh, so it's a bunch of individual calls. Okay? Mythicalsociety.com. Uh, we're, we're giving the heads up. February is the month to make it happen. I mean, I kind of like the taste of this. I associate it with relief. You know what this is. I mean, if if you're afraid, like if you need to give your kid Pepto, this this might be a way to get them to do it if they refuse otherwise. Pepto dipped watermelon. Our guess is Pepto. We both agree yeah. it's Pepto Bismol. Yeah. I don't. I I think Pepto Bismol remains the king of gastrointestinal relief products. Anybody on that team with me? Now, what what other things do you use? Maalox? I, you know, I don't use anything. That's your problem. I don't have a problem, that's my point. What's uh, the one that makes you go? Imodium? Uh, milk of magnesia. Milk of, yeah. One time I took that's that different. when I needed Pepto. It's wrong move. It was not, yeah. But there, the Maalox is white. 
and it does the same thing as Pepto. Maalox, it's minty. I is might, it, is I might it like the same it. thing? I think it is, yeah. Because is bismuth something is the ingredient in Pepto, which makes, makes your tongue turn black, if you've noticed that, if you ever take Pepto. You wake up the next day, mm -hmm. and your tongue will be black, and your stool, which is not what you sit on, but what you poop out. poop out, will be also very dark. But that's but it's okay. It's okay for it to be dark sometimes. If it's dark like a week that's later. That's the name of our new children's book. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay for your poop to be dark sometimes. Uh, sometimes I'll take it, and this is probably not healthy, I'll take it preemptively. Like if I have like a big Mexican meal, and I'm like, I don't wanna deal with this, I'll pop just one pill of Pepto after the meal. I mean, I'm saying I might do this monthly, just monthly. I also like seeing how dark I can get my stool. Occasionally. It's like, it's, it's like- a, it's not a bad thing for your yeah, stool yeah. to be dark occasionally. It's like, whoa, man, you, really, you can write with that. You can make ink out of that, you know. The book is like a cutout book with an interactive feature. And you place, there's a dookie log cutout yeah. in the book, and you place it over your dookie log? What? Yeah. Why do you place it over your dookie log? To see, to see how your dark dookie it is. log perspective. Did you know that the new iPhone, and this is not an ad for the iPhone, but I demonstrated this this feature uh, with you. Uh, it can just, you can take, you can just, film somebody with one of the apps built in and it gives you their exact height. I wonder if you can Pretty measure crazy. your dookie logs. Dookiemeasure.com. <laughs> <laughs> All right, three, Hold on. two, Hold on. I just, I just one. It. It's obvious. How much time? Three, two, one. Soy sauce. Coke. Coca Cola. Uh, soy sauce. Soy sauce. I, I started and then it hit me. Coke. Coke. Uh, this is pretty good. Uh, if you eat it quick enough, it's a little, there's still got some of the effervescence in it. I wonder if you, maybe you've done this, but like the most effervescent thing on the planet, Topo Chico. I wonder what that would do to some, just adding effervescence to your watermelon, what that would do. Maybe you've done that. Maybe that's coming. No, you know what you can do? You take water. You put watermelon in it, and then you soda stream it, and you do, and you do a lot. You put watermelon in a bottle. In a bottle with water, and then you soda stream. I don't want my water to taste like watermelon. I want my watermelon to taste like water. Exactly. I want my water watermelon to be effervescent. I want my watermelon to be fizzy, and I I'm can't get that out of the bottle. Just taking watermelon and putting it in Topo Chico, not going to do it. But take watermelon, put it in water, and then effervesce the whole thing. But the watermelon will get it. But then, how do you get the watermelon out? Yeah, with a toothpick or a fork or something. That doesn't sound tenable. That's the best one, Coke and watermelon. Stevie, you, you still using your Soda Stream? Every day. Every day? Yeah, because I ain't got time to pump. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I, that's actually a good point. But it, the bottles—it's just a good way to track how much water you're drinking well, throughout the day. My wife said, "Take it to the creative house." And you, when she says take something to the creative house, that means she has banished it from our house. <laughs> well, yeah, it doesn't go back. Yeah, I- Did you know it was at the creative house? I set it out somewhere that, where we're not gonna ever use it. Maybe we should. So if you ever want something effervescent. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay. Mmm. Yeah, there's nothing like making watermelon taste not anything like watermelon. I know what this is. Well, it tastes like another fruit. Three, two, one. Cantaloupe? Pineapple. Oh, pineapple, that's right. Yeah. This is good. It made a weird thing happen. I went through a phase in, um, uh, it was probably middle school, that was my pineapple orange juice phase. Wouldn't drink orange juice, I'd just drink the pineapple orange juice. This is a good, it's a good, it's a good mixture. You remember from Dole? Pineapple mango orange juice. That was I you had that. I went there a little bit. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Too much. A little too much. Uh, the bite of the pineapple is nice with the bite of the orange, and the mango just kind of takes the edge off. Don't like it as much. You remember Bob Dole? Yeah. You think that he drank Dole? Is he of the Dole family? Is it the same family? 
That's a, this is a that is a pertinent question. The Dole family. There's like a documentary about them. Is talk, it good? Talk about the Capri family. I don't know. We probably shouldn't. Dis- I'd rather dis- I'd rather watch the Capri son. We probably shouldn't disparage the Dole family without facts. Dole, but I'm just uh, saying I think that there's a documentary about them. Dole family has no finger fingerprints. Right. Right. I'm having deja vu about He's this. He's not, but his dad is uh, no had a, a creamery. His dad had a creamery. What does that got to do with anything? I don't know. The, but there's about, cream there. What about the Dole family? What do you want to know about the Dole family? Just do Dole family documentary. Let's no. Let's. I want to find out the family that we've been talking them to. When the Capri Sun family, that's who we really need to be worried about. James Cause, Dole. Cause is they are not the happy Dole with us. Dole family, and he's known as the Pineapple King. And he hmm. developed the pineapple inter- industry in Hawaii. Oh, this is good. There's no documentary. Mm. This is my favorite. Maybe we should make it. This is my favorite. The Dole Doc. Carried Rhett and Link, they made the Dole Doc. Do you like this one? This one's good. Yeah. I think I know what this is. This one's the best one. Three, two, one. Horchata. Horchata. Yeah. That is good, y'all. Horchata, man. I love it. Mmm. And it goes so well in things like watermelon. Try this. Thank us. Yeah. In a in a letter. What about the Capri family? Yeah, we need to know them because we made enemies today. Are we done, David? It is a German. Juice. It's a German juice. Uh, owned, German Jews? Owned by <laughs> Capri Sun Group Holding in Switzerland, which is a privately held company of Hans Peter Wild. Oh, Hans Peter Wild. So we're picking a fight with Hans Peter? And Kraft Heinz is the licensed, licensed production partner for North America. At least it's not Hans Wild Peter. Oh, and in the Netherlands, France... In the UK. You got a while, Peter. Keep it in your hands, man. It's distributed by Coca-Cola Partners. Oh, so this all goes back to Coke, the Coke family? All goes back so to Coke. So if we meet Hans Wild Peter, it won't help us at all. Because I would love to go to Switzerland and just track down a man named Hans. Hans, Give me watching. a Han with your Wild Peter. <laughs> Please comment. Uh, yeah, we want to come over. To celebrate two years of the Mythical Society, during the month of February, any third degree plan purchase will have the chance to be randomly selected for a digital meet and greet with us. Details at mythicalsociety.com.